are here in Detroit, Michigan. This is our 33rd out of the 50 states, and it's our first time coming to Detroit. So we are super excited. We have a lot of things planned for you guys. We're gonna eat some pizza. We're gonna go to as many pizzerias as we can absolutely stand. We are actually waiting for our friend Laura, who is the person that initiated this trip. Hopefully this is your first time coming to Detroit with us. Let's see what it's about. And if it's not your first time, comment down below where we should go. Or what we missed that would have make us come back for a second time. Let's check it out. All right. We're in Detroit. Detroit. Oh, Sorry, is... I think I just sniffed my armpit. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and Got it. Might have been on camera. <laughs> Something stinks. No, I really <laughs> smelled it and was like, oh, I think I might need to put on some deodorant. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Classy>. awesome. <laughs> what are we doing? We're gonna go get pizza. We're gonna eat all of the pizza. All the pizza. Excellent. Where's the first place? Mootz's. Mootz's, here we come. Alright, so our first stop today is Mootz's and they do a round pizza. We're here downtown Detroit on Library Street. So this is our first stop. Come see what we got. What do we think? It's good pizza. Great. Yeah. So we ordered the margarita pizza. The one thing that really stood out to me was the garlic on that pizza and the flake. Well, the second thing that stood out to me was the flakiness <laughs> of the pizza. It was really good. A little bit of cornmeal on the bottom. Yeah, it was great. Not a super, super thick, fluffy New York. It was a little bit on the thinner side, but I thought it was great. Yeah. They, Classic, they're, clean. Yeah. The own unique little twist on it on a New York style pizza, but I thought it was delicious. And I would eat here again. Bo show. got the cheese, well half cheese and a half uh, feta cheese pizza today. How do you feel about it, Laura? I thought it was good. It was our first uh, De Detroit style actual uh, Detroit pizza. Yeah. One thing Laura brought up as we started this is that we were curious to know if the difference between what we normally make and what we are going to get here, uh, she brought up the density level, which I will say this pizza was a little more dense than I may have anticipated. And not necessarily in a bad way. It doesn't, dense doesn't necessarily mean bad. It no. just means that right now the pizza world is very kind of consumed with big open structure, big light and airy, fluffy pizzas. And traditional Detroit style pizza doesn't necessarily mean that. It means smaller crumb structure, smaller rises. It's just, it's, it's a smaller pizza as well as less cheese. It's not as much cheese around the rim as you think. Less cheese around the rim, but... But it's still tasty. They did make up for the cheese in the middle. It was good. <laughs> Throw the box like, at him. Throw the box! Throw the box! I liked it too. It was yum yum. <laughs> That's not staged at all. <laughs> it was yum yum. <laughs> All right, we're here at spot number three, Buddies. Let's go get some pizza. There are 
the five distinct things about Buddy's Pizza. First is the pan, second is the dough, third is the margarita pepperoni, the brick cheese, and then the sauce. All done in a very specific manner. All detailed information, a very lengthy process of making this specific style of Detroit style pizza. Buddies was fantastic. Now, I didn't notice three stripes. What did you notice? I it was kind of hard to tell with some of the toppings, just because it it almost looks splotched, not striped. Yeah. But it was vastly less sauce than anything I've ever had. Definitely. And then, but it was great. I would say, comparing to one of the other places that we had yesterday, Nikki's, the dough was completely different. I just felt like it was a little bit lighter, not as crispy on the bottom. A whole lot thinner. Yeah, a whole lot thinner. Whole lot thinner. The crust line was like very minimal, but overall it's still very good. Would eat again. Spot number four, guys. Let's go get some pizza. It's a little crunchy. Yep. What do we think, guys? I would say this is your typical. This is your typical chain pizza. <laughs> there is nothing fancy about it. It's as heavy as you may anticipate it to be. It's as greasy as you would anticipate it to be. Yeah. That was chain. It was good. It was good quality chain pizza. But chain pizza nonetheless. <laughs> hey, if you're hungry and you're in Detroit, Jets is a good place to go. Um, pretty inexpensive too, so. And they've been around for 40 years, so 40 it's kind years. of an institution here. On to the next. On to the next. We are at Spot 5, the Detroit Style Pizza Company. Let's go eat more pizza. And look who we met up with. Hi. So actually went to Detroit South Pizza Company, who we used to know the owner, Sean, or he passed, unfortunately. Um, but it's very good pizza. We found it very different from all the other ones that we had today. Completely, nothing S similar. <laughs> Slight differentiation in the sauce. Quite a bit more sauce. I would say a little bit fluffier, yeah. Fluffier, yeah. more structure, yeah. just... Different pizza altogether. Very, could, just very different. Yeah, the but edge, very good. crust edge is definitely cheddar. Very prominent, flavor profile, crispiness. A little saltier. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Get it. So we are at our sixth and final stop at Detroit Style Pizza. So we're gonna head into Cloverleaf and have our last bit of Detroit Style Pizza. Why is there Greek everything everywhere all the time? Greek population here? Not huge, but there is a presence, I guess you could Enough say. Enough of? Okay. Enough of, yep. It's, you'll see, you know, Greek salads. Like I said, uh, feta's pretty much on everything. Yeah. It's it's just, you know, another specialty thing, another gourmet thing. Okay. So 
just finished here at Cloverleaf. This is our last Detroit style pizza stop, and it was delicious. Nino, it's your favorite, right? Yes. Why is it your favorite? Because it stays true to the original of what it should be. Uh, oh my gosh! <laughs> okay. Uh, what did you? What about it so, do you like so much? It's it's the story. It's from start from where it started so many years ago to where it is now. There's not a lot of variation for it. You know, it's just the same thing through and through. Okay. And their gluten free is pretty good too. Yeah. What do you recommend? Throw yeah. the box at him. <laughs> Well, this was a really fun trip. We've never been to Detroit. It was our first time. Super surprised about, about everything here. It was really, honestly, an adventurous city. Mm -hmm. A lot of really good food. People are fantastic. Pizza was amazing. Not the Detroit that I had imagined or heard about or, you know, it was, it was a great experience. Absolutely. We came here just for fun to kind of eat Detroit pizza. Um, Laura joined us. It was her idea to come out and just kind of check out Detroit style pizzas. We both make them. I was genuinely surprised at how much I enjoyed Detroit. I think there's definitely a, a new generation happening. It, there's a lot of construction going on. There's a lot of new building happening. There's a revival happening here in Detroit and we want to come back. We're definitely going to come back here in the very near future. I mean, we walked this city all morning long trying to find a quiet spot in order to film this. So yeah. There's a lot happening here in Detroit. I think in the next five years, this is going to be a really booming city like it used to be. I'm excited to see what happens here in Detroit and to come back. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along to the six pizzerias that we went to. We'll go ahead and list all those pizzerias here for you guys if you want to come out to Detroit and test what we ate as well. There is a lot of pizza. In fact, there's so many more options that people gave us along the way. Yep. Um, we didn't have time to eat, honestly. There was not enough time to eat all the pizzerias here. Come and check it out weekend. We hope you guys like this. Give us a thumbs up. Like and comment. Subscribe if you have not already. Tell a friend. Share yeah. it with that friend. Tell them to come visit Detroit. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.